What's I I'm the pasta tin. All these ends, why you motherfuckers got to be? All this cops dip. again, eat a box of something. I such a little watch with some rocks Show or something. What's poppin', what's poppin', what's poppin' Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Crowns K. So today I'll be doing a wig review for y'all and this wig review is brought to you by Sennosho Hair. I hope I pronounced that right. But the hair comes in this nice satin bag that you can easily store your wig in. And Sennosho Hair is a vendor on AliExpress. Inside the package comes, you know, the usual pamphlet how to care for your wig questions contact information as well as inside the bag there comes this mesh weaving cap that i don't i don't know i don't use and also the hair of course comes inside the bag and this hair is their brazilian kinky curly texture i believe yes as you can see on the screen it's their brazilian kinky texture curly kinky curly texture and this company is on aliexpress guys they have really good reviews they have 4.8 stars you can definitely check them out but the hair looks amazing and i got a 24 inch and mine was a 13 by 6 220 density and on their website it's like 196 dollars which i think is really good for the amount of hair as it relates to wig construction it carries four combs two at the top one in the middle one at the back and also adjustable straps um it's a pre-plucked um wig and i'm just putting it on just to see how it looks straight out of the package and i was pleasantly surprised and the wig looked really nice straight out of the package like the front was already pre-plugged and it had baby hairs the knots weren't really big and i was happy for that because you know as per usual i won't be bleaching it i'll just be like you know concealing the knots and the parting space in the middle is amazing it's really six inches i think the side maybe is only four but in the middle like all of that middle section is six inches it goes all the way back and i really really liked that for concealing the knots, I'll be just going in with my airbrush legs and I'm just spraying that, adding some free spray and blow drying that so it seals it in. And that's all I'm literally doing to prepare the wig. And I'm just wiping away, you know, all the dirt, all the extra off my forehead with some alcohol. And to apply this wig, I'm using the Got To Be Free Spray. I wanted a half up kind of thing, so I put the hair in two sections before I put it on so it would be like a little bit easier to get it there and I started cutting the lace off my head so I'm gonna be cutting the ear tabs off like the ear section because I can't really cut that off without putting it on my head you know it's annoying when your lace is just like touching your ear it really bothers me so I'm making sure that the ear section is cut out and everything is nice and we don't get no irritations and guys i'm having a pimple moment like i don't know i'm close to having my period guys like boom there's a pimple like right on my freaking chin i don't know if i'm the only one who this happens to but i really hate it i notice whenever i'm close to my period some shit like this happens but anyways <laughs> let's get back to the tutorial um i'm just cutting away the excess and then i had to take the wig off to cut the clips out because the clips really bother my head and this wig was a bit snug I'm not gonna lie it's a bit snug especially around like the forehead part maybe my forehead is just big but it was a little snug around my forehead area and after removing the clips I'm gonna just go in with my got to be free spray and I'm doing the hair in sections like got to be free spray is like the best thing and the easiest thing to get your wig on I literally just spray the first third of my head like well, the middle section of my head right there, that third of it, because I'm splitting the hair in three sections. And I'm just wiping away all the excess because I don't want it to be really messy when I'm done. And I'm just holding my blow dryer. I do it for like 14 to 15 seconds. Um, then I'm just going in with another coat and I, and I blow dry it on cool again for the next 14 to 15 seconds. And then I apply my lace. I hold it down and I go back with the blow dryer over top again on cool for next like 10 seconds i literally count the seconds guys because if you like blow dry it too long it here won't it won't stick and as well as if you miss areas like you didn't bring the spray far down enough you can always go in and just like spray the spots that 
you know, are lifting up and fix it. And we're literally doing that for the rest of the hair. We're spraying, holding the blow dryer for like 14 seconds and then spraying another layer and doing the next 14 seconds and then I'm putting my lace down and holding it again for the next 10 seconds to get the lace on and it literally sticks and it stays like it literally stays all day and when I'm like you know finishing my day I would take like some water in my spray bottle and literally just spray it and it comes right off so I'm all for the freeze spray method versus glue because I really like taking off my wig at the end of the day I don't like sleeping in wigs I don't really practice that I'll take it off every night so this method works for me and we're just doing that until we have like the whole front secured and it's best for me like to work in sections so I always do like small sections until the whole wig is on and then that's that that's that if I can speak <laughs> and it doesn't take that long and the hair is melted into our skin and we are ready to slay guys this lace is really soft that came on the wig I really like this lace and I wish I had taken like <laughs> 150 density guys because 220 is a lot of hair I don't know why I didn't think about it curly hair is normally big but 220 guys is a lot of hair like if you want a full ass wig get 220 because this was so much hair this was so much hair like my hair is finally set and I'm just taking this off and guys as I said I wanted a half up half down kind of moment so we're gonna work on that I ended up parting like the little sides down so it's kind of it is a half up half down but is it like a three-quarter up down I don't know that kind of sounds stupid but you got what I mean because I'm leaving the sides out I don't know what to call it but it is a half up half down okay and I'm just parting that out and then guys I used some mousse on the section that I was leaving up I used a little bit of mousse to tame the hair I also went in with my um, Cantu the fine and shine custard and I used that to define the curls on this wig and I got my hair up in the ponytail and for the rest of the hair guys I sprayed water and there it is the Cantu the fine and shine custard and I realized when I put this on any type of curly wig it looks amazing it curls up great it don't work on my natural hair but on these wigs guys the curls be popping so that's what I use it for and I'm just going in with my Zenman brush and I'm just going through the hair and I'll just be detangling the whole sections and hydrating the hair and then that's basically it this hair curls really well it looks really pretty and I don't have anything bad to say about it I didn't think it shed much for a curly unit so I'm really pleased with that and as you see the lace is really you know nice and thin and the hair is very full so i'm just gonna go in that and define all my curls and then guys i wa didn't want to do baby hairs and then i don't know why i ended up doing like two little swoops i could have done without the baby hairs let me know what you think but that's what i did and that's like the hairstyle and i thought it was really cute and then i just wrapped an extra piece of hair around it just to give it some height and i'll use a curling pin to kind of like you know give me some more height as it relates to the little ponytail at the top and that's basically it guys for this hair tutorial the hair looks really really nice um i'm gonna go in and add an accessory to make it you know extra cute and girly and i'll list down below where i got the hair accessories from like that i used on the front of the hair i'm all over the place right now but that's it for this tutorial guys i really hope you enjoyed this tutorial be sure to check out sinosho hair because they got good hair and their hair is full okay and be sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll definitely definitely be catching you in my next one and guys i was doing my makeup and i was rushing and i was cooking too so i didn't like my makeup so we didn't do no extra extra outro intro so you're just gonna work with that little clip that i gave y'all that's the hair bye guys i love you guys so much Mwah.